welcome to this video today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five seamless in-camera transitions um, that you can do for your wedding films and I'm gonna be editing those transitions here in um, Adobe Premiere Pro so five seamless in-camera transitions that you can do okay so you can do these transitions in your camera during filming the wedding so you can well whatever you're filming but I'm gonna base this for wedding filmmakers since my channel is about wedding filmmakers so let's go here so um, the first transition is going to be the I call it the walk by transition so the walk by transition is just a transition where um, somebody walks in front of your camera while you're filming something so you just like cut it right in Premiere Pro to where it transitions into the next scene or next cut whatever you're trying to do so that's the first transition I call it the walk by transition so let me give you an example of this transition here so yeah so let's say there you go okay so you see how at the end here that little thing there so that's a, a curtain in this hotel and I just moved it with my hand so that way I can see I moved it I covered the camera so what you can do is you can cut it right there and then just um, connect it to the next clip so the thing that I'm going to be telling you guys is the most important thing is not every cut has to be a transition to connect the transition let's say in this case see how that transition on um, the second clip also had the same transition so it's it's called the walk by transition to where somebody covers the the subject or whatever you're filming or uncovers the subject so in this case this thing the the curtain covered the subject and then in the connecting scene um this person is uncovering the subject so it transitions well right here so you you have to while filming the wedding or whatever you're filming but I'm just gonna be saying wedding throughout this video so while filming the wedding you have to film with an intention knowing that you're gonna be doing these transitions in post-production so like let's say the scene goes like that see how that transitions seamlessly like see that so it's called the walk by transition because um, the reason why I call it the walk by is most of the times I noticed that every time I was filming a wedding a lot of people was like walking in front of like the bride while I'm filming or walking in front of my camera so I started doing this transition where the person like as they're walking by I cut it in post to connect it to the next clip so that's why I call it the walk by in case you're wondering why I call it the walk by so like here see how this lady uncovers the bride here so if we look at the before I cut it she was covering the bride and then she uncovered her so it's just on it all depends on how you want to cut it okay so it looks better if you like just go to where it's just gonna look more natural when you go like to where is the thing is being uncovered other than showing the whole like you know process of it being uncovered and then so so that transition right there is not connected is not like it's not a continuous transition right here I just connected these clips together because I wanted to make it you know seamless so like let's say she was trying to spray but the spray wasn't coming out but at this part is where the spray started coming out so I found a little clip to where as she as soon as she sprays I connect this clip where the spray comes out so it goes like see like she, she sprayed it so it's all about how you transition it or how you connect the clip sorry 
So as we go here, see how she walks by the camera. So right, that right there is a transition. So that's the walk by transition. She walks by the camera and I can put another scene right there and go to like a, the next clip. You know, that's how like you can connect clips. So let's say she walks by right there. So what I can do is let's say we're trying to connect this, this scene here. So let's say we move it here. So when you go like that, see how it also kind of like transitions properly but you have to do a little bit of editing here as to where it just connects like somewhere like right here so that way it looks seamless when it's all said and done see that but this is not this doesn't make any sense here put in my volume up sorry that scene doesn't make any sense so you need to find a clip in the wedding that's gonna make sense for you to connect that so maybe like you find a different angle and you connect that clip to it okay guys so that's the walk by transition I do this a lot when I'm filming the bride um, like doing a makeup stuff or just anything she's doing or filming the groom whatever he's doing and then somebody just walks in front of the camera and that's the transition right there so that's called the walk by transition so every time when you're filming a wedding watch out for these um, happenings so don't get mad when somebody walks in front of your camera I mean it depends on what you're filming of course but if it's something like you're just filming the bride getting ready and somebody walks in front of the camera that's better because you can use that walk by as a transition to going to the next scene so that's number one guys the walk by transition so number two is, I call this the wall to wall transition. So yeah, so let's see what the wall to wall does. So the wall to wall, basically you just see how you go from wall to wall and you reveal the transition. You reveal the other clip. So the bride's getting ready here. You go into a wall and then see how you go into the wall and the next transition you can also have it to where it's coming out of a wall or coming or maybe it's a walk by transition but it's this is very um effective when you editing uh wedding films you know so like these transitions I, I this transition i use it to where um this thing here the makeup thing i'm not a girl so i don't know what to call them i'm gonna assume it's a palette correct me if i'm wrong but so this palette was in the way here so if you see the full clip it was like see where the, the palette goes right there so you kind of like right somewhere there and it transitions perfectly with it transitions uh, seamlessly see how it just transitions seamlessly like because every uh, both the cameras are going in the same direction so this way it's going in the left and this is going to the left so it transitions seamlessly there so that's the wall to wall see how it transitions smoothly there so here is the camera turned I was dropping it down and then it so happened that the base of this wall was black so I kinda transitioned it into a night scene and it just flow, flowed smoothly because another thing again you gotta watch out for direction so the reason why it transitions smoothly here is because this clip is moving to the left the camera is moving to the left and as you can see here as the camera goes down it's moving right here it's moving to the left so it transitions smoothly right there see so that's the wall to wall transition but you don't have to it doesn't actually have to be like a wall to wall it's just you can use it to transition into another scene so like see how um um you coming from the wall and then you reveal so if you want to go into another scene too you can go to the wall and you know use that as a transition and it's going to look um seamless when you when you transition that So he walks by here and then I just pan the camera right 
and then see how it just transitions because again direction the scene is going the same way see it's going that way too so we have to um set to frame good okay let's see so wall to wall see how um so like i said these are in camera transitions so when you're filming the wedding you need to have in mind that okay so i'm gonna you know do this wall to wall where it's a reveal so this works well like if you're coming from another from another scene where the camera is going into the wall or or it's a walk by or something like that so let's say if we let's see if we can connect the wall to wall with the walk by so this is the walk by where the lady goes she walks by so let's see if we can transition that into this let's move this here just in case we need to um we need to fit the thing correctly see she see how it transitions smoothly so doing makeup and then the lady walks by and then it goes here so what you want to do is you want to time how the transition gets in you don't want it to just be like you know a whole like um long like show the whole thing so let's see here see that's way better see that's seamless right there so from walk by to wall to wall see so that's the wall to wall guys so yeah so let's say you wanted to go to that clip you can go into the wall and transition back this way so that's the wall to wall transition and that's number two uh, the seamless transition wall to wall okay guys so it's all in how you film the thing film whatever you're filming with an intention to make those transitions so that's why it's in camera you do these transitions while filming in camera and then in post-production you can go ahead and chop these scenes up correctly and connect them together so that way they're just like seamless okay so number three is the facial expression so this is very slick and um, if you need to be a little bit more skilled to do this transition I mean I don't know I just while editing weddings after a while so after a long time I noticed that I was doing these transitions where like let's say this is in slow-mo she smiles and then you can connect the other scene to where the other person is smiling and just like keep it on to where like everybody's smiling so it's a transition where you know it's um it's a facial expression transition facial expressions guys facial expressions and i use blinks a lot during wed during weddings i use blinks a lot to seamlessly transition so let's watch this blink action so she blinks and then she opens her eyes blinks she opens her eyes blinks she opens her eyes so i'm transitioning it through blinks everybody's blinking like you know what I mean like I'm, the transition is just a facial expression which in this case is a blink so everybody's blinking as soon as they blink they close their eyes you connect the other scene to where the other person opens the eyes as soon as this person closes the eyes the other person opens the eyes so this person like you know closes the eyes the other person so it's a facial expression transition okay um, I don't know I've never shared this before but yeah I'm giving you all my skills here so that way you can make your wedding films better so that there you go it's the facial expression transition so this person blinks this person opens the eyes so you just need to time the transition guys you just all you gotta do is time the transition so you go in and then you go frame by frame see where she closes her eyes that's where you want to start let's press S here okay and then closes the eyes that lady opens the eyes so you have to time everything guys you gotta time everything to see when she opens her eyes so she blinks then opens her eyes so right down the blink you connect the scenes together and you get this if you blink you might miss it you know what i mean pun intended 
So number four is the body movement. So number four is similar to number three, which is like just body movement, but it's just mostly, that was just like facial expressions. So the body movement, the body movement is slick when you, when you learn it. So um, the person just kind of moves a body and then you connect, you connect the scene together. So see how, let me give you an example. See how she throws her arm down and then in this scene, she's putting a leg up. So it's kind of like about like, it wouldn't look like a transition, but if you're watching it, it just like seamlessly, you know, transitions. So it also here on the next one where she pats the leg, pow, pow. So pow, pow, transition. So in this transition, she's um, fixing the shoes, and then, well, I, I think I just connected this, but she's fixing her shoes. And then as soon as she goes to put, as soon as she goes to put the shoe down on her feet, you're already on the next scene. And then right here, as soon as she ties the shoes, bow, you're on the next scene. You see what I'm saying? So it's body movement. Bow, you're on the next scene. And then um, here, as soon as she puts, she throws her arms, her hands out, you transition to the next scene. So I didn't have a scene to go here, but you can imagine that it would seamlessly, you know, connect to a clip. So you just gotta, um, you just kind of gotta find the clips to that, that you're gonna put together in a sequence, depending on what you shot for the wedding. Okay. So this body movement transition is where they're all like, you know, fixing their face so like doing makeup so look at this makeup doing makeup 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 lagging okay let's bring it right here makeup 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 okay so there, there you go so you can kind of connect scenes whereby body language. So if they're doing the same thing in every clip, it's a different clip, but they're doing the same action. Let's say like she's fixing up, fixing a face. And then here, this lady is putting makeup on her face and then see how makeup. So it just transitions well because they're doing the same thing in the clips. They're all moving the, the, um, the makeup stuff, whatever they call them. I'm not a girl. So again, I don't know what some of these things are called. So she's doing that with that in this scene. Same thing. So it transitions good because they're doing the same action. So that's a body movement transition, also called a body language transition. What I That's what I call it. I don't know what other people call it. So like in this clip, see how body, la body language transition, body movement. See how she moves the curtains, so that's body movement. So that's a good opening right there, or a good connection from another scene to where she opens the curtains. Okay, so that's body movement right there. That's a body movement transition. And what we got here, so here, same thing. So the guy is reading the vows. And as soon as he flips the page, that's a transition. It's a connection. So no effects, no nothing, guys. No plugins, no dissolve, no nothing. Just like you're connecting them using just the body language. Like he flips the page. Bow. See, you're connecting that clip to this clip. Okay, guys? So that's just all body movement. If you blink, you might miss it. Tenants page, but how I connected it, um, it wasn't even like that because this was just B-roll. I was just telling him, oh, can you flip the pages? Can you do this? Because I knew I was going to connect them in post-production. So let me see some more body movement. So body movement works a lot, especially in dance scenes, guys. So when people are dancing at the wedding, uh, usually mainly 
the reception, you can do a lot of um, body movement transitions. So see how here I transitioned when it got to the guy's legs. So it just looks like, you know, it, this, it's just a seamless um, transition here. They're both dancing. So that's body language, body movement. Just the body is moving. See how they're just moving. They're dancing. See? So you got to just know where to connect these scenes. And most of these transitions are usually um, for the highlight video. You can do some of them for the full video, but mainly for the highlight video. So this clip where she turns around, I think would have been better right here after the legs transition, I guess. So let's see. So see. So see how she turns around and this lady is turning around. So that's like body movement right there. That's a body movement transition, guys. So another way, another good thing is the camera goes that way and it continues. So, you know, you can mess around with these transitions, but it's always good to know, um, it's always good to keep in mind when you're filming that you're gonna be doing these transitions. So that was number four, the body movement transition. So the last transition here, guys, is flashing lights transition. So what is the flashing lights transition? Flashing lights transition is just the, as the name um, as the name suggests, just like um, when lights are flashing, you know. So this is another transition that works very well during the reception when people are dancing, to where like um, you know you're filming. The people dancing and then as soon as the light flashes or the disco lights flash you switch it to another scene where maybe the lights flash and you connect that scene in this case I was using the you can use the photographers flash I mean as a wedding filmmaker of course we hate when photographers are just like you know flashing away and doing whatever that's why you have to also sometimes um, tell the photographer okay I want to get this scene can you please not Use the flash for this scene or this, you know, communicate and be nice. But that's a video for another day. But let's just say I'm using the photographer's flash. See how I connected those clips seamlessly? Just through the flash. If you blink, you might miss it. See? And then another flash here. See? It's because the flash is flashing everywhere. So this scene. The, she's being taken pictures of so we use the the flash to our advantage in this clip here in this sequence so to say so flashing lights so let's go in here so I can show you see the flash goes off right there so what you want to do is you don't want to connect the scene here to where the flash flashes you want to connect it just one frame before the flash is when you connect it flash frame nothing nothing flash frame so that's how you do it guys so see that so you just like cut it a frame after the flash and if you want to connect another flash scene you can just do um, a frame before the flash so of course you don't have to just do a uh, flash to flash you can then like incorporate these other transitions okay guys but that's just an example so those are the five in-camera transitions five seamless in-camera transitions that you guys can do and use for your wedding films okay guys so I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you guys use this um, in-camera transitions at your next wedding and if you already knew all these transitions then that's good I know there's probably some people who don't know these transitions. So yeah, so I learned most of these transitions throughout the years of me being a wedding filmmaker. So I hope these um, transitions help you guys. And um, yeah, till the next video. It's your boy Francis. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the like button if this video helped you out a lot. Okay, let's go.